Here we are. This is Coastal Heath, north of Durian Bay, Western Australia. This area burned in a bushfire in February of this past year. So this is the first spring after the fire. And in the distance you can see the unburned heath. This vegetation is generally known as what we call fire prone. When it burns, or burns frequently, and when it does, in this system at least, most of the above ground vegetation is killed. Consequently, many of the species here have adaptations to deal with fire. And one of the ones that's more interesting is something called serotony. And serotony is where plants have evolved woody fruits which hold uh, the seeds in their canopy. And these seeds are then stored and they accumulate until the fire, at which point the pods open just after fire releasing the seed, which is why you can see the sort of unbrown, unburnt part of these hakea seeds right here. Now, in terms of the post-fire response, why is this interesting? Well, what you're looking at right here is where the action really is. This is the first spring after fire, and it is go time for these plants. I'm zooming in on a hakea seedling right here. This is this this has germinated just in the last few weeks, and this seedling represents what the plant has been preparing for for years. If this seedling makes it, fantastic. However, what if it doesn't? Well, it turns out that this plant is also what we call a re-sprouter. It's also re-sprouting from its base, which is a bit of a bet hedging strategy. However, it's also an interesting question to talk about how are these plants going and have they always, are they performing as well now as they have in the past, given that we know it's getting warmer and drier. And this is something that we ask a lot up in this part of the world because what we found is that these guys have lower survival after fire because it's drier. That makes sense. What we've also found is that in general, there's less of these seeds on these plants because the adults are struggling every summer to grow as much and then to put as much of their resources into forming seeds. Therefore, when you combine fewer seeds and lower seedling survival with probably a more frequent fire future, that's a bit of a worry and that's something that we're trying to understand better.